Hello and welcome to the Rhubarb Room. I'm Thomas and today we're going to be playing through Total War Rome 2 Rise of the Republic DLC. So let's get right into it. Um, this DLC is I think just a couple of weeks old. I've had a chance to play around with it for maybe one or two hours, see it all works. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, this is set, you know, before the events of the base game. I think it's 399 BC. Might be wrong. Or 299 BC. I'm going to say 399 BC. So, uh, I think we're going to start as Rome. Uh, we're going to go very hard. Um, make sure battle time limit is on and let's begin I am also using free mods and I will let you know what those are at the end of the cutscene We failed you. Accused you and banished you. And you prayed for the gods to punish us. So they inspired our enemies. Savages. My knowledge on this time period of Roman history isn't very good. So, this will be a new experience for me as well. They took our land, sieged our city, to slaughter husbands, wives, and children. Also, if you know the correct history of how things went down, then please let me know. We are the city you loved. But we are destined to be the world. Marcus Furius Camillus. Rome needs you. Rome is at war. The Etruscans of Veii have been our enemies for many years, and since peace is out of the question, we must bring them down by force of arms. The proud Volsci of Latium are carefully observing the conflict, and will undoubtedly strike should we provoke their ire. In such a conflict, we might try to ally with the Hermesy. Meanwhile, rumor has it that a new threat is stirring beyond the lands of the cowardly Sabines and docile Umbri. Be mindful, yet brave. May Mars watch over you. Yes, may he watch over us. Okay then. So I'll take provinces their entirety. Right. Okay, so yeah, this is something new to Rise of the Republic. So as Rome we get to, we have our elections and we can appoint consuls or dictators. And that will obviously have different effects uh, based on what you appoint. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so here we have it, the map. 
of all of Italy. So, pretty big map, pretty impressive. Okay, so, immediately our champion, uh, you are Marcus Caminus. I will do anything for Rome. Give you some military training. Okay, what can we do in Rome? Okay. Ready and willing. Just seen what these men are like. So our Roman swordsmen aren't actually that good. Well, they're quite worthless. You know what, well, let's disband them. Obviously slingers are slingers, or centurier. They're pretty good, they're pretty good, not bad. Last line of defense I'd say. General's bodyguards also quite quite good. So let's see what we can recruit. So Latin tribesmen, Roman light hoplites, Latin spearmen. They're even worse than the tribesmen, I think. And some slingers. Right, so not a whole great deal to choose from. So I say let's um, let's build a military camp. Let's also build a farm for more food. And let's also recruit another pair of slingers and some more light hoplites. Oh no, first you know light hoplites. Okay. Technology, what have we got? Anything different? Yes. On recruitment slot, let's go tax rate early on. Um, let's have a look at our family tree. Okay, so here is Camillus. And here is our... Oh, he is a consular tribune. And I guess, yes, our family leader is here. Okay. We have two sons down here. Okay. Declare air. No, we can't do that yet. And these are the other houses. Let's go into summary. So right now we are protected for 20 turns. Okay. Politics. Minus 14. Minus 14. Let's see what they have. Party traits. Agriculturalist. Okay. Subversive. Right, and bigger. Mm, what's that? The player's culture is not dominant. Right. Oh, they are bigger as well. Subversive as well. The only difference is they are militarist. Plus two loyalty for three turns for each military victory. Okay, that's not bad. I think this will be. They will be easier to keep on side. And our influence is 40% at the moment. Okay then, what about diplomacy? Can we do anything there? Okay, we're trading with them. Can we I do welcome a, you on behalf of the people. An aggression pact? No, didn't think so. We thrive in Neapolis, Neapolis. Can we get Greetings. anything with anyone? We are civilized folk. No. You would not sell much in our market. No. We will not agree. Right, so diplomacy again isn't part. really well, worth much. Your scheme shows all the cunning of your people. You have reached civilized land. Did you not consult? Okay then. So one thing I do think we can do is we can send someone off. How much gravitas has he got? Okay, let's send them off. And I believe Tartuna are next to us. Um, well, let's get them on side because I think who we want to go to war with is. I don't think they're on here. I think they're the they. They I. Let's send him there. Hopefully, he gets the job done for us and brings back something good. Yeah, the they. They I. Okay then. So I think we've done everything this turn. Let's end our turn. 
Oh, we have an edict. Yes, okay. Uh, romanization. Commercial stimulation. Bread and games would probably be a good choice. The party loyalty would also probably be good. Well, no, I think we control this region anyway. Tax harvesting. Okay, so it's between tax harvesting and bread and games. I think let's go bread and games for now since our public order is not the highest. Failed diplomacy. Oh, right, okay then. So we have now lost our consular. Our consul. Well, that was not good. Unlucky. Also, now our new leader is Camillus. Right, trait gained. Consular tribune. Okay, some good effects though. Some good effects indeed. So maybe it was a good thing. But we have lost his um, gravitas towards our parley. Our oh, influence has gone up though. Okay then. So what kind of wife do we have? Plus free corruption. Hmm. Not fantastic. We could go for a divorce, but I think it's too early game to do that. Ah, what we can do though, is we can educate, we're going to educate our oldest son. So hopefully he will come back with a higher authority or cunning or zeal. Okay then, so that takes another two turns, another two turns. We could expand Rome or expand Ostia. Um, oh, we only have 225 remaining. Can we recruit anyone with that? Mm, not really. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. Cicero. Some big garrisons. Okay then, let's end turn then. Oh, looks like our champion might level up. Oh, so now they want to look. They want an immigration pact. Okay, good. Romulus and Remus. Some technology. Marcus Fusus. Okay, so Centurion Pulio, single formation. Is that from the series Rome? Say, so let's drill sergeant for the extra uni experience. Okay, then. So, let's expand Rome and bring something that will bring public order. I say. Um, I mean our culture is already Latin so we don't need that right now um, let's go over forum and also now we can recruit some additional units let's go with our technology Open up the military path. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. All right, it can help increase their party loyalty a bit. I 
first stage is free, I believe. Yep. Cannot do it for for Millers. Let's same turn. Who are you? The Volshi. Volchi. They're down here. How are we with them? Well, they do not like us, do they? We are already a war with they. And they killed our diplomat. Well, our consul. Our consul. Okay, this is more like it. Companion hoplites. Ah, yes, as far as the uh, mods that I have enabled in this uh, campaign, I have AAA generals. I have a simple camera mod which lets me zoom into the battlefield uh, further. And I believe I have a mod with one or two new units for each faction. Uh, I do believe these might be new actually. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, it also is uh, reskins as well. So they might look a bit different to the base game. So they are 150 upkeep, they are 90. But they are significantly better but you know still a bit early let's stick with another pair of swordsmen and some cavalry would probably be good yeah let's go oh, can I get one okay so one cavalry two swordsmen and I think next time we can try to assault Sisera Veterans increasing in rank very quickly. Okay, yeah, let's just. In mm. Yeah, let's increase that. Trait gained. Ah, oh, come on. Why? It's just so random. The Roman army is a force to be reckoned. They do also have this there as well, so. I don't know if we could take that to be honest. Let's get one more sword. And one more horseman. Construction complete, the forum, great, and let's end our turn again. Okay, technology done. Hmm, plus 10 melee attack during Italians. So this seems good for the early game, but for the rest, it basically becomes useless. Okay, this is good. What else have we got? Morale is always good. Movement range as well. Since we are going to be fighting Italians, let's just get this done with. It's the quickest one. And since we are. Oh, great. So I would assume 
that they, the capital, they I, should be relatively undefended. I think I'm going to move Camillus into Ostia, because Rome has walls so they won't be able to assault straight away. I doubt they would. Okay, some good public order there. I s mm. we are the men of Rome. Looks like we're going to have to recruit more men. Getting going on upkeep. Oh, swordsman is probably the best option right now. And let's get... Some levees would be good as well, I believe. Yeah, let's get... Oh, we can't. Mm. Okay, let's stick with that. And end our turn. Should also have had a look at the family tree. Of the politics, making sure everything's okay. But we're protected for 20 turns, so... Your people will curse your Fantastic. name run red with their blood. So now we're all two sides. By the way, I don't know how long this, uh, how many parts this uh, series will get. It all depends on if we can survive or not. That army does seem to be gone, but is it gone? Pick up those feet, you laggards. Onward to glory, boys. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've definitely got the advantage. We should fight this one. No, go on then, let's have a look. As you can see, we do outnumber them. And apart from the general's unit and possibly this unit, we do have the better men or the same tier men, I would assume. Also, be interesting to see if the AI come at me or if they stay in. Let's go for dry. Probably want to attack from this side. Down here, see if we can get 
right behind them. In fact, Italian so let's cavalry. group them together. In formation. And let's group the main army together. Okay then, let's start the battle. At the moment, as you can see, they are spread out quite a lot actually. Move there like that. I'm not going to run, don't want to tire them out, even though we do outnumber them quite heavily. Maybe they have just got those skirmishers there, we can go take those out of our cavalry. Let's take a look at our units. These are our swordsmen. Swords! A reward to any man who takes the Spears! A centurier, our highest tier unit. Any man who falls Doesn't help that they're in the grass right now. Where is Camillus? Oh, there he is. Hello, Camillus. Looking quite good. Yes, probably don't want to leave the cavalry there. That was my bad. Bad mistake there. Don't think we lost too many. Oh, we lost a couple. Okay, should have them on the run. Then we can go around there and take out their other skirmishers. Want to avoid these ones as opposed to their general. Yeah, come around to meet us. Let's quickly get in, form in a formation. Ready for orders. Attack those skirmishers. Come on, hurry up. Get them out of the way. Menos, you can attack them. Where's our cavalry? Here they are. Attack them as well. And while we're at it, our general is under attack. All right, they're dealt with. Horsemen doing. Seem to be doing well, they're about to get charged by them. Let's pull them out. These skirmishers are actually holding their own quite well. They are just some slingers. Battle is turning in our favor. Let's finish them off. Ready Pull waiting. these guys out. Try not to use the lose the unit. Might lose it anyway. You guys retreat and get yourself some nice rest. Bring some more men round. Where are the slingers gone? Here they are. Slingers! Double 
Full time. Ready and waiting. Quick march. Orders. Yes, Commander. Ready for orders. Slingers. Slingers. Fire on the enemy. We await your command. I can charge around quickly. Gotta stop letting my slingers get hit. Let's move to surround them. Do have the skirmisher advantage now. Swords! Cut them down! Right, we do want to stop our men from. Charge in the rear then. Decent little charge. Spearmen? Yes, they are. Don't want to get our cavalry involved. Pretty standard victory, I'd say. Not too bad, lost 254. Do you know actually got the most kills? Where are these guys? So they probably were slightly higher tier, plus they have a nice decorative shield. Didn't actually see that. Probably should have gone and zoomed in more. The only bad thing is we did lose almost a whole unit of cavalry. Uh, so that's where most of our losses came from.
We have gained the trait. So we're going to We're going to occupy. Camillus has ranked up. So that is that tax. So claret. I mean a little good and mostly bad. So right now I'd say let's get in some cunning so then we can get some extra movement range. Oh yeah, and this as well you have to pay money to dismantle. Yeah, a thousand. Unless we convert, but I don't think I have the money for that. Um I think we're going to build an amphitheater. Do anything? No, not really. Minus 7, minus 10, so I don't think that's too bad. Our influence has dropped though. We are protected for another 14 turns. Okay, so let's end the turn and see what the repercussions are. How would you like your defeat commemorated? Okay. An or a nice column. So now we're at war with the, the south of us completely. People. So much for that non aggression pact. So yeah, we did also lose trade with them. They do have a small army here. I would think our garrison could take that out. They're gonna probably try come take this back. I'd be surprised if they went to Ostia. I don't know if we could hold out at Ostia with the garrison. Um, could always try raise another army, but then again, it's all upkeep. Let's go with him. Yeah, let's use the Centurier as a free. Um, you know, just simply Join the Roman army. for a little bit of missile damage and let's see how the Latin spearmen are that just helps strengthen the garrison just a little bit not by much, not worth too much where civilization is born Okay then, let's end our turn. Right, yeah. So as I thought, they have come to attack. So our odds aren't great, but we're gonna have to fight it. So the freemen, they obviously have 3,000 troops of reinforcement. The stone men, very interesting. Hopefully they are just a lot of these weak spearmen.
terms of quality of troops, I'd say we do have a slightly better force. So it's just going to come down to quality of troops versus numbers. I do like how it swooped in. I like that now. Okay, so they're out there, so we could try and just charge these guys and take them out as quickly as possible. Or we could just sell up and defend in the town centre. Oh, I have just realised that they are arriving by ship, which means that they are probably going to get stuck. We'll have all our hoplite men here. They can defend the beach. And I think the rest of my men, we're going to take the fight to them. Do have the missile advantage, I believe. Swingers! Levies! Italian cavalry! Don't want to use those cavalry. By your command! Okay. Yeah, they are, they are on the ship, so hopefully they do not get stuck. It's stupid that they still get stuck. After so many updates and patches. Well, they're going straight in, aren't they? Well, that's a way to lose your general. Probably get a good charge, though. Yeah. Let's get Camillus in on the action. Starting to retreat. See if we can get at the back of them. Bring the cavalry around here. Ship is still arriving. Okay, so he is now dead. Let's charge our general in there. And these men over here. Have these guys charge on the back. Probably want to stop our slingers from firing. In fact, let's put them here and I know we have our levies, we can put them there. 
for our slingers. Here. And then put our other pair of slingers on this flank. Please don't get stuck. Okay, so they are completely dealt with now. Right. I suppose we should move the rest of our forces back into the town. Fast forward it. See them in their hot light wall. Does look like these guys are going to be able to land. And the slingers firing in there. The sides. Not really doing a whole lot of damage. And they're stuck. attack them yet. Slingers! At your Means service. our slingers are going to get involved. Just hurry up and get round. Come on. You don't need to fight them. They're just stuck. They shouldn't even have naval battles if this is what's going to happen. Or just allow navies to drop troops off. Because it's just stupid. If I jump from there, I'd snap both my ankles. Can't attack them yet, so hopefully they'll start killing them themselves. Seen that animation before? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's see how these guys get on. Okay, and now, yet we're thoroughly just stuck.
Okay, so I'll probably just One of our units is used edit this out. Welcome back. So, we skip the battle. Um, obviously, you can see here they deployed almost twice the amount of men that we did. And we only lost 237, obviously. Most of the army did not even disembark the ships, which is very annoying. Uh, but I think we would have won anyway, even if they had, uh, and it would have been nice if they did, because then that army would have been out of the way. Um, but for now we captured 268, getting a nice thousand if we let them go, but I think we're going to keep them captive. Okay, we've got our military traditions and we've completed a research. And Camillus has leveled up again. Oh, even our veteran has leveled up, so we're going to go for the third tier of military training, I believe. Drill sergeant, sorry. Um, as for the military traditions, going to go with defenders. And for Camillus, we're going to go for the Tactician and give him the extra movement range. Going to focus on something civil now. I'm going to go for the Republican values, SPQR. So, uh, I think that means for the people and senate of Rome no senate people of Rome yeah that's it so yep yeah, we're gonna go with that and I think that's gonna do it for this part so if you like what you saw and you would like to see a second part then please let me know um, also let me know what we should do next should we first try wipe out the uh, what are they called? They are called the Hanichi Hen or the Volshi, or should we continue defeating the Vey? I would personally say we focus on the Vey, try get maybe an alliance and an aggression part with the Tartuna and the Sabines, and then focus going south. But for now, goodbye from me, and ciao ciao.